All right, I am lost my pen. Oh, there it is. Um, <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done a drawing video, so I wanted to do one this morning. And I'm using Clip Studio Paint and a Wacom Cintiq 13 inch, 13 and a half, I think. Anyway, so let's see what happens if you're kind of new here. I really don't know what I'm going to draw. Start out with a little sketch here. I like to use a um, thicker pencil, and um, I've started um, doing it with uh, like uh, actual pencils. I use a Blackwing Palomino Blackwing pencil. It's a very soft lead, and I can get thicker lines faster than noodling away with a hard lead. Um, I know some people like. Um, like to use uh, like a f H4. I know people use like a 4H lead. That um, I just I used to do that. I find myself I find myself noodling away more than actually doing. Um, What's well, like this line? If I wanted to get that thick line, I would instead of just doing like that, I would have with a harder um, lead. I would have to um, basically just take longer, a little bit longer to get, and I would rather. Hit it and move on. Nice thing about digital, I don't like the head. When I flip it, I see that the head, I want to have it turn a little bit more. There we go. Maybe it could be a little bit bigger. Basically just trying to get everything placed in the head. It's really easy to get bogged down in details at this point, which you really don't want to do here. I think I'm going to do a, uh, a live hangout pretty soon and just kind of schedule it in advance. Um, I'm not exactly sure what time would work best for people, but um, I've been I've been doing some live videos and uh, mine are always kind of spur of the moment. I almost made this one live, but. Um, This is going to be poison ivy, by the way. Um, I don't think I give enough time, a good, a good heads up, to um, to do a good when, when it's uh, most people don't know about them. It seems so. When I do it that way. To flip it again. Very easy for things to get off balance at this stage. Especially with the eyes. Alright, I'll lighten that up, make a new layer. So I'll probably do a live hangout to talk about making comics and, and things. And um, if you're watching this and you 
if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments what, um, what would be a good time, good day, good time for that kind of thing. Let's see if I can make it happen. haven't checked out my Patreon, I'm uh, giving away sketches and um, for certain tiers, like five to five dollar tier uh, every month I'll just send out some sketches and doodles if that's something you're interested in, but I'm trying to in the next few months building that up to uh, where I can do more comics, uh, do more of my own original stuff, that's kind of the goal anyway. find it harder to um, when I'm doing a live drawing uh, a live stream I think the drawings aren't quite as they tend to be more cartoony because I, I can pay attention to the chat and uh, do cartoony but um, this one I'm going a little bit more realistic it's harder to do for me when I'm not, uh, don't have full attention on the screen here. I'm actually surprised this came out as realist, more realistic, uh, since I'm not using reference for this. But said before I've gotten a little more um, looser with um, when I do my own stuff um, I tend to think about it like um, uh, I can't remember I'm trying to remember where I talked about this I think I talked about it when I was drawing some transformer stuff that I mean I, I tend to s stay in the loose stage for uh, much longer than I used to excuse me I used to um, try to get every line, um, like really obsess about the lines and stuff, um, on my commissions and things, but, um, I've kind of found here lately that I really like the energy when it's a little more gestural, and then as things progress and get closer towards the end with colors, especially during Transformers, I try to, uh, with, well, at least for commissions, um, I tend to, at the last stage when I'm doing the marker and the colors and stuff and separating the planes is when I start kind of bringing it uh, a little more, um, I don't know what's the word, a little, little more, uh, make, making the form a little more solid, uh, and then at the last stage, I'll go over, I'll go over the lines again and kind of neaten them up. But if you've ever seen, um, seen me drawing like at a convention or, or whatnot, it's, uh, that's kind of what's going on. Try not to make myself have the added stress of trying to have too much control early on. I do have an eraser handy though, <laughs> so.
All right. If you switch off the, let's switch off the uh, sketch underneath and kind of see where things are not jiving. The nice thing again about digital is you can do that and um, let's see instantaneously where. You need to fix things. <clears throat> I was at uh, NC Comic Con uh, last weekend. I mentioned I didn't do, I did videos, but they were really boring, so I won't inflict them on you. Um, I've had lots of, uh, I've noticed a lot of questions, more questions coming in about um, Webtoon. Um, I try to do, uh, I do see them all. I don't get to respond to all of them, uh, at least not right away. But um, some of them I've, I'm taking notes for future videos. And um, So if there's any other thing you'd like to see, definitely, um, definitely let me know. Uh, In my, I'm not an expert by any means, but as I kind of figure things out, I figured I would uh, post what I learned. So hopefully it would help you, save you a little time. All right, I'm going to probably go ahead and go to the color stage here. Um, I'm uh, trying to wrap up issue one of G.I. Joe versus the Six Million Dollar Man. There's a crossover with um, IDW is doing with Dynamite. And because um, I moved into the new house, if you've watched my videos, you've seen the, the scenery change back here. Um, I, I kind of got set up to where I can work now, and um, <laughs> then all the unpacking stopped. Uh, so I've got to got to get back to that. I've got some people asking for pages and things and um, uh, I know where they are. They're in a tub. I just, my problem is I don't have shelves yet so I can't unpack my, you know, the logistics of getting everything out um, before I've got shelves. I need to get a shelf like back, whoa, back there. Um, so. And then I have like a little wire stand for my um, Books I sell at shows. No idea where that is. I know I have it somewhere. But I was sitting up for NC Comic Con and I was like, I, I don't know where that is. But um, I need to figure out my setup. It's about time to change the setup for the setting up at shows. Um, not sure how that's going to look. I mean, just as far as the display, and I need to get a new banner. Uh, Get some. I've got prints. I just need to have printed up, and uh, just add to the list of things to do. A little gray for the eyes. Eyes tend to be not truly white. Since this is poison ivy, I will give her green lips. So what color her her eyes? I guess are green, maybe. Well, they are now. All right. So lighten up, desaturate that a little bit, and uh, just checking out the preview. It's a little bit. The monitor is a little bit different from <laughs> maybe it's the way I'm sitting. I don't know. Make a multiply layer and drop it down to about 50% opacity and I'll pick a purple color here and then I kind of a darker purple. Oh, it needs to be on top of that, that's why. Duh. Again, talking. 
talking and not drawing. Here I'll go through and just kind of figure out where the form is. The light coming from the right. And it's good to <clears throat> you're just figuring out how light uh, strikes a figure. I mean, figure drawing classes are really good. Um, typically, you can. I learned a lot just by doing that. Um, but even just watching how light strikes somebody's face, you know, when you're talking to them, or just hanging out in the coffee shop, um, or wherever you are, you don't have to have pencil or sketchbook with you necessarily if you find them you should but um, if you don't it doesn't mean you can't observe what's going on and just kind of remember it that was the old um, famous artist course that uh, Norman Rockwell and all those illustrators used to do back in I guess the 50s the little map mantra was see, observe, remember. Um, so try to commit to memory. How things like light and how the body moves and, or if you're looking at a car comes in handy if you're in a waiting room or something too. Just got time to kill. Right, just again, here, just being really loose. All right, hair hanging down there, and then we'll put a little highlight on with the screen layer and drop the opacity down a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. We got a good one. I'm coloring them. Um, if you've read my webcomic, William the Last, that's colored in Photoshop, and I did that because I started the comic before I had Manga Studio. Um, comics, I think, that I do from here on out that I'll color will be mostly in um, uh, Clip Studio. In fact, I've got a G.I. Joe cover coming out um, for issue 250. I think it must be in a couple months. Uh, Maybe, maybe in February, but uh, that whole thing was done in, in Manga Studio, if you happen to see it. some reflected line. This is kind of, if you've watched some of my videos um, about drawing, I've kind of got like a shorthand for when I do the videos um, just to make it um, faster. So I'll typically do the same kind of color scheme, uh, purple shadows, and then do a reflected color. I do that mainly, it's a good starting place, but it also is just something I've worked out really fast for doing, you know, when I'm drawing on here. Um, so for the reflected light, I'll make a screen layer and leave it 100%, but choose a really dark blue. And then go in here and oh, maybe not, maybe not that dark. But you can see it's a very subtle, uh, gives a very subtle, uh, like light is bouncing off a surface off that we can't see. But again, looking at how how. Um, Just when you're out and about and the light is playing off of things. Um, will help you just add a little bit. A little extra something. Right, I'm going to do... Go back to this layer here, and um, eyes have shadows and colors and things too. So, Get that screen layer. 
I'm actually going to put a white on top of it all so that even the kind of pops a little bit. Um, I'm going to add, let's see. Sometimes just to be safe, I'll make a new layer, which you don't really need to do. Oop. I'll bring that way down. But if I like, want to add a little red here and there, um, a couple ways to do it. You could just use a different brush, but or you could just use this, basically the nib, but then go in with a soft eraser and just kind of soften it up a little bit. I live near the airport. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> All right, so there we go. There is a sketch of um, poison ivy, and uh, now I've got to actually go do some work. So like and subscribe. Um, and subscribe with the icon down here. Where is it? Down there at the bottom. Check out some more videos over there, um, and I will see you later.